Now, my name is John Morgan, and I'm the product manager for Google Health Studies. And joining me in this discussion today is Dr. John Brownstein from Boston Children's Hospital and Harvard Medical School. Welcome, John. Great to be here. Thanks for having me. Now, the Google Health Studies Android app was launched in December and was created to make it easier for researchers to build digital studies and reach users. Now, our initial study on the platform is focused on respiratory health, which was developed in partnership with you. Can you tell us a little bit about why you were excited to get involved in this project? So as we know, mobile research is really hard and there are reasons for that. Bias in the populations we access, technology access, recruitment and retention of populations in these studies. So we were so excited that Android could allow us to access more diverse populations. I mean, we had the framework where we've been doing crowdsourcing for so many years, but limited by the kinds of tools we were developing like Outbreaks Near Me and Google Flu Trends. Some of that knowledge that we wanted to ask was out there, but we just didn't have the survey to design. And so that was what was so amazing of working with the Google Health team is that we were able to start building this platform from scratch and get to the answers that we needed. One of the key features that they built was about patient reported outcomes. And so with this study, we were able to ask questions during the enrollment. And for instance, our first study was focused on asking participants about how they're feeling, about the vaccinations they're receiving, information on social distancing and other precautionary measures on a weekly basis. Absolutely. And I think one of the features that pairs really well with these patient report outcomes is our data visualization. From day one, like data transparency is a foundational pillar for Google Health Studies and users will always be will be able to see the data that they're contributing, as well as how their participation helps impact representativeness within the study. And as we all know, data and privacy go hand in hand. Yeah, absolutely, John. So from day one, privacy was a guiding principle of this work, right? So we could get powerful individual level contributions, but represent that at the aggregate population level. One of the major pluses was the passive data that could be collected from individuals related to their mobility. These are not forms of data that we generally have access to as clinical researchers. These mobile phones represent this incredible sensor that you can tap into, truly expands this concept of the digital phenotype, generally things that clinical trials have not been able to do. And so this is an amazing advance for us. Oh, absolutely. And, and so diving a little bit deeper, can you tell us a little bit about the respiratory health study and what you're hoping to accomplish? Yeah, of course. So we've actually been trying for many years to understand the dynamics of infectious disease spread in communities. We've been limited by engagement of consumers and the kinds of data that we collect. So even after a year into this pandemic, we still have huge gaps in our knowledge about understanding how to truly control this pandemic. Example, what drives community transmission? And so the concept of coming together and finally bringing these types of topics into a platform like this means that we can orient a whole research endeavor to, to start teasing these things apart. For instance, we want to know about how hyperlocal spread is contributing to the spread of this pandemic. In less than a month, we've been able to recruit over 7,000 participants and more joining each day. We're excited to be able to see what these data will tell us over the next year. For instance, what does this data tell us about pre and post vaccination? Or what about new strains that are emerging in communities? And I mean, John, thank you so much for taking the time to share with us today. And we're also really excited to see how the respiratory health study will grow and develop over these next 12 months. And as Google Health Studies looks to the future, we're happy to share that we've been currently developing our next study uh, focused on mental well-being. In addition, we're soliciting interest from researchers and participants alike to share the focus areas that they'd like to see us expand into. If you're interested in sharing, please visit the link below.